Hi guys, I'm Setrez and we meet again for a brand new exclusive video with official gameplay of two new agents incoming on TCS. Sans plus attendre, on est parti. Allez, let's go. Let's begin with the first upcoming agent, Alibi. Aya Alibi De Lucas is a defending operator featured in Tom Clancy Rainbow Six Siege. A light armored operator, Alibi carries three Prismas special devices that project volumetric display of herself. If an enemy were to interfere with the program, they will activate a tracking feature that will cause the victim to be detected for a short while. On TCS, she is part of the Earth's Blue Guard team. It's important to know that she has an MX4 Storm in Earth's. It's a like machine gun. She has an intimidating trait. For those who are not familiar with the Rainbow Six Edge universe, I will reveal you its true ability. The Prism Project's holograms of Alibi give you the illusion that she is inactive. If you shoot or touch an hologram, you will be marked for a few seconds. If the prism is deployed outside, a false enemy detects outside message appears to the attacker. To add an element of surprise, the prism conceals the identity of defender venturing outside themselves. Bullets, blows and explosives can damage the prism, but will pass out the hologram. Be careful not to stand too close. So now let's talk about his real active ability on his squad, with his Prisma active ability. She still and deploy a Prisma targets and taunts the current targets for 5 seconds pinging them in their fire as the Prisma applying less than 100% resistance for 5 seconds. While in stills, throw her a secondary fire arm and fire 6 shots at the current target, damaging for 25% ability power for each shot. So now, let's talk about his passive ability, Defender Outside. When she is stuck by ability damage, she could trigger a fake warning confusing the enemy that dealt the damage for 5 seconds. And you cannot trigger her for 1 second. I'm gonna talking about this intimidating trait now. While above 75% heals, allies are intimidating to the enemy receiving plus 20% weapon and ability power. I'm gonna talking about the Elsys Blue Squad perks. Never one. If allies are always working together and when any allies receive a heal, all other allies are also healed for 25% of the healed amount. It's a pretty impressive squad perks and we have to, to work with Elsys Blue Team on Territory War, for example. So now I'm gonna talking about Finca. Lera Finca Malinkova is an attacking operator in Tom Clancy Rainbow Six Siege. A medium armored operator, Finca comes equipped with a specially designed nanobots, having them inject into each of her teammates prior to each mission. Her Hardenar Surge allows affected allies to gain a temporary boost in health and reduction in recall on top of other small benefits. For those who aren't familiar with the Rainbow Six universe, I will reveal you its true ability in the game. Finca's Adrenaline Rush activates nanobots made of zinc and already inject into the agent's body. This nanobot releases a pharmaceutical cocktail into the bloodstream, and the zinc is absorbed as a nutrient. These nanites temporarily increase the health of her team, help injured allies, and reduce recall. She is the only person able to create nanites tailored to the specific needs of each agent. She has got the injuring traits on TCS and she has a spear 308 gun on Earthis. Maybe she will have the same on Tethyrus, I don't know. We could see that active ability is something like that. So let's discover his active ability in Tethyrus now. Her adrenaline surge activates nanobots and triggers an adrenal surge on the ally with a lower health, healing them for 100% ability power over 10 seconds and granting them plus 25% weapon power and control immunity for the duration. Indeed, this capacity is similar to the one we know on Elsys. Also, I think the immunity control aspect is a good addition for Season 2. Being a fan of the r 6 universe, I can only want to try these two new characters. We will now see its passive ability. DBNO, when an ally first falls below 20% health, shield them for 100% ability power and grant them plus 25% lifestyle for 5 seconds. I am gonna talking about his enduring trait. While allies are below 
40 percent else they are able to enter the art situation and receive plus 30 percent damage reduction i think that the two new agents will give a little renewal to the season 2 of Hell squad and will give a smile to the fan of the universe of rainbow six Siege, including me yeah i really want to test these two new characters and i will keep you informed of their release date in video or on my discord the link is in description so let's check now i will meet you in a few days for top of the best strongest agents to farm for free to pay player for this new season 2 i hope you will like it don't forget to subscribe to comment below and like the video it's a real support for my channel and to help me to grow pour cette chose allez ciao